Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. Today's a special video. A friend of ours, a friend of the channel, one of the best friends that got us into magic. It's his wedding today, and I thought I'd help celebrate his wedding in fairy tale fashion by opening a box of Throne of Eldraine for our friend, the man we love, and the man we're celebrating today. Mitch. Mitch, this whole box is for you. I'm hoping it's like the best box I've ever opened. And I hope you are having a great day and you have a wonderful wedding and you teach the future Mrs. Mitch. That's right, Sarah. This is my gift to you guys. I know you don't get a lot out of this. But maybe if you're lucky, Mitch will teach you how to play Magic the Gathering. And then you can play with my wife. So, without further ado, thumbs up, subscribe, smack things, whatever you do. Mitch, this is all for you, buddy. I feel really good. So these packs, if you haven't opened it yet, they feel just like the Battle Bond ones. So I'm wondering if it's that same print run, which is high quality food. Looks like we're in reverse order again, too. Mountain, and then the rare. Yeah, Fae of Wishes. Nice. Not really sure. Oh, it's a bacon to pie. As much as this is for Mitch, this bacon to pie is for Josh. But there we go. Yeah, the card quality feels real good. Yeah, it feels like the Japanese print run from Battle Bond, which I was a huge fan, or Ultimate Masters. It's basically what it feels like. And we got our first Mythic. We got the Ember Cleave. That is a really good card. Man, some of those, some of the artifact Mythics in here are crazy good. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I have a lot of boxes of Throne of Eldraine coming in this Front run is like my most favorite. I'm glad they went back to it. Swan. And Mirror Maid. That's a pretty good card too. Man, some of the cards. Ooh, I forgot about this. We got that. It's, it's like from a storybook. It's like from a fairy tale wedding storybook. I need to put these off to the side. I catch them. I don't know if I don't know if they're always in that spot. Can they? Let's do a quick scan. Do, do they land sometimes in the middle of things? Oh, look like it. We'll find out. They look awesome though. And some cool bordering. I love it when they do that. It just adds a little bit of fun to openings and to wanting to collect the cards when there's just a little hidden lottery style inside of it. Island. And then we got a foil rare, we got the Wish Claw Talisman. That, I am fairly certain, is a very good foil rare. Or at least a very useful one. I'm sure Mitch is looking at this going like, yes, I will use this in Commander. This will be good. I am sure it will. And we have the Black Lace Paragon. Black Lance, Black Lace, ooh, Black Lance. Oh, we got the Turtle Hydra. Just making sure. Oh, so tiny. So tiny. It's so tiny. Just making sure I don't miss any of those alternate frame cards. Just a little worried because that seems like it was probably in the uncommon slots. On an adventure. Planes. And we got the Love Struck Beast. Aw, oh, Beauty and the Beast. Just like the wedding. That's Mitch. Look at there's Sarah. Sarah's right over there. She's marrying that boy. Aww. Aww. There are so I should probably go through some of the cards. There are so many like cheesy wedding jokes I think we could make with the vast majority of these cards. 
forest. The lands too, by the way. The land artwork in this set is amazing. Like, looks amazing. Oh, look at that. It's not even a rare, but look at the foil. The foil alternate border. Ardenvale Tactician. That looks awesome. It really looks like old school storybook art. And we've got the Lochmere Serpent. I do know this is one that Five Color Land Mitch is ready to play. The Lochmere Serpent. Who in the Sorcerer's Room? I got a... This is one of my True Love's Kiss. Is that a card? I think it is. I hope I can find it. I'm sure it's in there. I probably bought it this one. Forest. And the Piper of the Swarm. I feel like this could be really good in standard. It seems really good. I'm, now, now I'm kind of looking. Now I have to. I have to see if I can find the love, first the True Love's Kiss. Something like that. I feel like Exiles and Enchantment. I don't know. Ooh, got a foil rose thorn acolyte. And oh, happily ever after. Look at that. That's Mitch and Sarah. After the wedding, happily ever after. No, 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 no first kiss yet. I'm gonna try to do the full tab. Yep, doesn't work. Hate the pool tab. Never works for me. I feel like I just trash it. Food. Mountain. And the fires of invention. Dwarf. Is anybody with me? Let's make some dwarf tribal. The flax. Flax and intruder. That's a cool looking thing. Oh, it's the ginger brute. Really smile. Four flames and a foil ginger brood. There's a fun foil to get. Can't catch me? He's so flavorful. The card makes so much sense. And then we have an escape to the wilds. Which is also a pretty cool card. Still creeping. I think it's a thing, but I could be wrong. I don't know. It's gonna be really cool. If you guys remember the Battle Bond ones, there's, the, there's like a little bit of a film on those Battle Bond and Ultimate Masters. I feel like they did a good job kind of getting rid of that. Like it, it still has that durability, but it doesn't feel so slippery. The Hypnotic Sprite Foil. That's a pretty cool card. Especially if you're going Fairy Tribal, this thing seems like an instant add. And another really good card, Stone Coil Serpent. I feel like this is going to be one of the better cards in this set. Like long term, it just has so much playability. And still, still no. Almost through the first deck, we're taking our time. This is, Mitch, this is your time to relax and enjoy some free magic cards for you while you get ready to get married. Pat is actually with Mitch right now, so don't worry, he's not alone. Fervent Champion, crazy good card. Mono Red got so much love from this set, even down to those Dwarven Lands. Those are stupid good. Like, a land that comes into play, maybe not tapped if you have three other mountains, and it creates a 1-1 one, one creature. It is just insane to me. Food. Planes. A foil planes. Yeah, I do really like these lands. And Dance of the Mance. Oh, he's going to be dancing. He's going to be the Mance of the Dance tonight. Mitch will be the Mance of the Dance. It's a bog naughty. That's one of the dance moves that he's known for, is the Bog Naughty. Oh, 
Come on, let's get that big. We need more mythics. We only got one, so we're on to the second stack now. We'd love to see that green taps for two. That one's just really good. Oath Sworn Knight. This is one of the more expensive cards right now. It's uh, it's the knights who say knee. It just keeps attacking, and no matter how well you chip away at it, it just doesn't want to die. I can't remember the name of the green mythic artifact, but that's what I'm looking for. That thing is super, super good. Island! And the magic mirror. Just in general, these mythic artifacts, I think, are all really, really strong. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Two mythics in. Should be able to get at least six more, I would think. Swan. And... Oh, foil mythic! The circle of loyalty. That's the thing you step in when you say you get married, is the circle of loyalty. Don't fail me. This... Foil mythic, wow. And then the giant killer, another really good rare. Standard at least, this is crazy good. Man, this box is shaping up. I love a good foil mythic. And we're getting, maybe we'll hit all the colors. See, I think the white one was, in my mind, the weakest one. But now I'm looking at it, I mean, if you really want to press Knight Tribal, that's that's a really good card. And it's probably the best initial costed one, I don't know. Boar, Island, and the Hushbringer. Look at those lips. And everybody made so many jokes. I mean, this card's, like, stupid good, right? Like, locking down ETVs and everything death triggers but I hate the artwork. Everybody else seems to love it. They think it's great. I think it's terrible. It's just too uncomfortable. I mean just a couple lips just painted all over it. I thought it was fake. I honestly thought it was fake. I'm like this can't be a real card. That's terrible artwork. Nobody would be like yeah that makes sense. We approve it fairy. A beautiful island. And another Witch Claw Talisman. I forgot we have to foil one of these. So we got a foil mythic and a foil rare, and then another Witch Claw Talisman. And I love this card. So good. Well, I might have to give up. I swear there's a card called like True Love's Kiss or something like that. And you're all probably like, well, yeah, there is. I can look right now. I'm online. I see it. I know. I try to remember things. I work real hard to become an encyclopedia of knowledge. And I can't always do it. Mountain. And ooh, it's a rare giant killer again. Look at that artwork. These look beautiful. Like, even if the power level is not high enough for this set, this set will retain long term value simply because it is bordering. It looks amazing. The Beanstalk Giant. Another bacon to pie. Well, we're getting down there on the second stack, so we only have one more left. We have three mythics, one of them being a foil one, which is awesome. Oh, we got a dwarf. Forest, and the Witching Well foil. This is a solid card, some beautiful artwork. Nice card to get foiled. And. The Castle Vantress. Another pretty cool card. I'm curious to see how these lands play out. All the different rare land cycle. They actually do feel pretty good to me. Very much. Oh, here we go. Shepherd of the Flock. I'm not putting those off to the side. Those just look awesome. I'm trying to think, I bet you, I'm trying to think what's the most expensive card. Oko, probably for now, but. I'm honest with you, I don't I don't see that card, you know, a year from now being the most expensive in this set. But Emery Lurker of the Lock. There's a commander card. So Oko though, probably still like that 25-ish dollar range, I'm guessing. Pretty expensive. 
just in general, Planeswalkers always hold that high value in their standard legal swap. Oh, we got a foil bake in the pie. Oh, again, you guys, this set is so flavorful. Like, even if it's not powerful, the theme is fantastic. And if you hate it, don't, come on. Yes, all right, the Great Henge. Happy wedding day. This is nuts. This card is so good. Love this card. And we've got, well, we only need one more. Oh, <gasps> Grumgully the Generous. I think Grumgully needs to be put off this side. He's too good. So we've got, which we just need the, the black one, I guess. The black mythic artifact. I don't even know if I remember which one that is. The green one is the one I was most excited about. The red one is just equally powerful in my mind. Forest. And the opportunistic dragon. Really likes a 4 3 for 4 flying dragon that has abilities. It's a good card. Okay. I continue to see if I can find true love's first kiss. Oh, so cheesy. Island. Once upon a time, Mitch got married. This is actually a really good rare. This might be the best rare in the set. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I think this is the best rare in the set. I'll say this. I think long term, this is the best rare in the set. It's either this or the land of the the new fetch land. Just feel like the new fetch land isn't. Oh, there it is. I knew it. Oh, true love's kiss. Oh, wedding day. Oh. All right, back to magic. Food. Island. And another foil. We got a lot of foils here. That's right. Didn't they up the foil count on this? Ardenvale Tactician, or maybe they, they started that with Torch One? I don't know. Oh, the Bone Crusher Giant. This is a really good one. Again, because, you know, Red Deck Wind doesn't have enough powerful cards to play with. Let's give it a, a bone crusher. This is pretty good too. Sir Conrad. Real good. I guess we found True Love's Kiss, so we don't need to we don't need to look through the rest anymore. Although did we find some of the alternate border commons? Maybe we do need to keep peeking. I don't know. Forest. The Inquisitive Puppet. Oh it's a little Pinocchio. And <laughs> Yorval, Lord of Grainbrig. Love a big giant mono green beast. Alright. Getting down there. Love to see a few more mythics, at least Oko. If not, uh. What else? What else is good? What else do we want to see? Ooh, 7-7 gi seven, seven giant token. Mountain! And the Midnight Clock. It's a good card. It does a lot for you. So, be fun to get all of the, the Mythic Artifacts, so we'll take that, but really would love to see Oko. And if there's another strong one that I'm not thinking of right now. Adventure Forest. Oh, there it is, Robber of the Rich. That is a great mythic. This is one of the other really powerful ones. And again, because I've said it twice in this video, Red Deck Wins doesn't have enough power, so let's make sure we, you know, bring it on back home. Good Lord. Well, we got Robin Hood. I mean, I still feel like we're due for one more mythic. I'm feeling it. Planes? The Clackbridge Troll. Played this in the pre-release tonight. It was real good. Really, really annoying to deal with. I didn't mind them tapping it down so I could, you know, gain life, draw cards, all that good stuff. It's really powerful. Very powerful. Look at that. Is that, is that Friar? Who is that guy? Mountain! 
We got the corridor monitor foil. And the sorcerer's spyglass. This is actually a really good card too. It's like the perfect sideboard card. It deals with your pesky flame blockers and then some. Ooh, look at that. Is that like Alice in Wonderland? Am I seeing this for like the red cards? Like the Queen of Hearts whole thing? That's awesome. Another cool bordering. Just give me more of those. Those things look so neat. It reminds me of Future Sight where they were just playing with the border a little bit and really had something I thought was unique. And they did it just subtly enough where it wasn't like everything, but it was a lot of fun to play. Island. Castle Embereth. Embereth? Yeah. That's a pretty good card. Come on, then we'll make the... Look at that bear. That is like a papa bear. Avara, Ayara, first of Black Twain. This is a really good card. Instant add from my Mikaeus deck. Alright, I think we got four packs left. One, two, three, four. Sure do. One more mythic. Or let's get the fetch land. I know Mitch is a fan of the rare lands. Forest. Another foil inspiring veteran. There are so many foils in this set. Look at this box. Iron Craig Pyromancer. That's really good too. Man, that's a crazy good spell singer card. Yikes. I don't even think I knew that was in this set. Oh boy, three damage and target and it is a big butt. That thing is hard to just fire down. Plays. Castle Garenber Garenbrig. <laughs> that is a that is a fun way to get a lot. Right, two packs left. Come on, one more mythic. I want this to be a six mythic box. Six mythic box. Here we go. Now ten. Stolen by the Fae. Definitely would be a good card for limited. Probably standard. Ooh, the Flaxen Intruder. Goldilocks has murdered the three bears. Evil. But beautiful. Bordering. All right, the last pack. Mitch, again, congratulations. Sarah, congratulations. I hope you guys have an awesome day. A wonderful honeymoon and a lot of fun. Hopefully everybody is having a lot of fun. You guys have a great party tonight. This is your last pack, Mitch. These are all for you when you get home. Planes. And the Stormfist Crusader. That's really good. Oh, I like that card. <laughs> Another one I just didn't know about. But that is it. A five mythic box with one of them being the foil. Mitch, congratulations. Everybody else, thank you so much for hanging out for a little over 23 minutes. You're the best. This is Booster Therapy. Mitch, have a happy wedding day and congratulations.